And there we go into the deciding game between Nick and Goku. It's a Hans Warren game five. <laughs> Should be interesting to see. Uh, Hans Arabia common, Hans Arena not too common, but players know how to do this, I think. And so I'm looking forward to this game. I hope it's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to start with Nick here who was 2-0 in the lead and uh, then Goku won two games, uh, bringing this to tie and going into game 5 right now. Uh, looks like Nick is going for his first boar already, just does not want to have it stolen. The second boar being protected by the scout here. Uh, missing the two sheep, he doesn't see them, oh that's bad luck. I uh, hope he's going to find them. Ford here uh, on the edge of his map, on the corner here, but outside it's not too good. Second gold outside, almost blocking the, f uh, the gate, but not happening. One really close to him. Um, then we have the main stone a little bit trapped into the forest, can't fit a mining camp here, but it's okay, she can still take the stone if he wants to. Main gold frame very safe in the back, second stone safe in the back, uh, third gold safe in the back, actually quite nice of a map here, not too bad, except for the deer maybe, but he is uh, getting the boar in, got the second boar already, uh, revolving this, I think he should have pushed the deer at least first, but looks like he's going to skip that, uh, not sure why, okay, let's see what's going to happen, and he should be able to find his sheep relatively soon as well, let's see how he's going to play this, um, then we have Goku, Goku got his main gold forward, that sucks a little bit, Mainstone also forward, second goal on the outside. Um, one relic close, two relics close to him. Third goal forward as well, that's not too good. Uh, got a second stone and an extra goal in the bag at least. It's something, but uh, the map for Nick, definitely better. Mm, except for the food here maybe, because extra berries and food here are very close here. That's awesome for Goku, he's sending three more villagers to take berries. Uh, or go for Lumber Camp, that's two then and doesn't even need to lure the deer. That means Goku will have a lot more scouting information and he can see that the boar was outside or maybe the deer but I think it's worth and stealing two sheep because Nick didn't find them. Not too good of a scouting here, actually this should not happen uh, that you leave the, the sheep close to your walls in the uh, in the dark, but that's exactly what happened to Nick here, and it's not bad luck, or maybe only a little bit, but you sh it just shouldn't happen. Goku up to feudal age first, so Nick 25 seconds late and exactly one village behind. That's awesome, both plays very similar, except for Goku one village less, and got Four plus two on barriers to three on the deer still, and he's gonna have enough food to click up for sure. That, that's why he's going one miniature early. That's enough wood already to get the stable and uh, the archer range and blacksmith out. And I'm assuming we're gonna see archer ranges. Two villages and gold for now. He's gonna send more. Let's see what does Goku and do. We see archer range. Yep, expected. Mm, go to Nick. What is Nick doing? No uh, deer taken. Market blacks was coming up for him and that's a very defensive approach. I think he really should have uh, pushed the deer in. It was a big mistake. Game 5 and, and playing a little, bit of, a little bit cowardish. That's not good. Also this market is in a very strange position. It's blocking a lot of wood here. You don't want to go here if you're being pushed. And of course you need on a hunt where you need to expect your opponent to go. Cav archers, siege workshop, maybe monks and just try and rush it down. Nick has seen all of his back base, that's good for him, so he's got, um, what's that, 80, 12, uh, 8,000 gold safe uh, for himself, but the question is, with that defensive approach, is he going to succeed? Uh, so he, I'm assuming he wants to go for a boom, and he took 10 stone, or even re stonewalling this, so he definitely looks like a boom to me, maybe even 4 or 5 TCs, while uh, Goku creating Kevar just going for TC on the wood line here. Uh, I'm not sure about the position, it's close to the mill, it's okay, I guess. Scout war now, and uh, Nick has the advantage here, but Kevar is coming out, and Nick is going back. You can see the Kevar you can see the monastery, coming up and um, he's got a good amount of scouting information. Now the relics I think will all go to Goku and that is a big problem because in the long run uh, and that's what's most likely going to happen. Five relics against none that's huge. TC coming up for Nick on the main goal, TC on the wood line and close to the main stone also Siege Workshop up for him. Uh, while Goku 2 TCs of course, he is gonna save up for a few more and I think he's gonna skip Cavarch production a little bit. Instead going, oh interesting, Siege Workshop forward, so he really wants to go aggressive here. Plus one is done as well. Nick, uh, right now, 34 villagers, uh, Goku the same, but Goku of course ahead in population. Nick I think needs to buy stone or maybe collect and go for a th uh, TC number 4, maybe uh, like around in this, in this wood line, it would be very nice or close to the gold. 
And uh, yeah, for now, Mangonel defense is going to happen. Nick, let's see, 104 stone, but he spent wood on a Mangonel on the second one. There we go. Mm, hitting the Cavarches, of course, they're going back here. Um, for now, uh, Nick should be fine, but Goku is uh, the aggressor here. Mangonel coming out for him as well. He's going to attack the, the vaults, pretty sure. Two relics in already. And sending villagers to take the gold outside, that's actually very smart. Take the gold is not safe as long as you have the map control, as long as it can't be raided. And the first Mangonel dances will start. Let's see, Nick should have an advantage with two Mangonels against one. Just needs to make sure he doesn't lose any. Goku, now three TCs, resources looking good. He's not doing plus two, I think. He has two possibilities, push really hard or go, or go to Imperial Edge faster. Nick now doing the barracks. He's collecting stones, so it looks like he wants to get a castle up. And the Mangonel war... None for none, but uh, both are a little bit uh, damaged. Now Nick of course repairing his Mangonel. Um, Goku should be able to do the same thing if he's sending village forward. Not happening now. Goku doing wheelbarrow. Nick with uh, 14 more villagers at this point. That's huge. I'm assuming Goku even at least got more gold in for relics. Uh, and he's going for number 5 as well. Mm, good amount of resources actually. And did I miss a fight? Yes, one Mangonel going down for Goku. Uh, good micro from Nick apparently and no bar no market up for Goku so he can't buy his way up to Imperial Age. Um, Mangan uh, Scout also going down because Nick with another Manganel shot. Now doing his own cavalry, he does not want to go to Imperial Age yet. He wants to fight this now in Castle Age. Maybe hoping that Goku is uh, is committing here, but uh, Goku clicked up to Imperial Age, and that's really strong. 60 villagers, actually a very good number here to click up. Uh, I've seen it a few times before, now he has four archer ranges already, he should send two villagers, two more villagers forward maybe. Losing another Manganel, but it's now one for one, and trying to revolve this Nick here. Mm, sh this should not overcut, that's something I don't like. Should put a lumber camp maybe right here or move the villagers. And the walls will go down really fast now. Bloodlines for incoming Predator Charm and Ballistics. Goku doing for, going for Boatkin. Does he have a university? Oh, not yet. Uh, should get a university for sure. Now there is the panic or fast walling for Nick, but it's done. And nice Manganel shot on the Cavarchas. We're gonna lose two villagers. Not finishing the art. Sorry, archer range on, I guess, like 95H, 94%. A handcart coming in for Goku as well. He wants to have a good eco with not so many villagers. This art range might go down. And military wise, Goku double. Two Manganels forward and a lot of Cav Archers. Heavy Plow, Pedal Arch Armor, Gold Mining, Handcut, Ballistics, uh, Bloodlines, all coming in now. Uh, Manganel fight, Goku lost one, but getting one in return, that's okay, I guess. And Goku up to him. What is he going to do first? Let's see. Uh, still doing Bloodlines, I think. Uh, Bracer should come in very soon. Mm. Is it happening? Yeah, Bracer coming up, is fighting at the same time. Chemistry as well, so they got a university up now. Losing a lot of Cav Archers, but reinforcing very fast. We might see Parth Parthian tactics very soon as well. And for now, Goku with a better fight here, because he has more numbers. And the Ram is moving in, and Bracer has done, that's a huge advantage. Problem for him is, uh, Nick has plus two, so he will be able to defend for now. And of course, Nick with a lot more villagers, it's 23 right now. Mm, Nick is close to Imperial Age, but he's missing a little bit of gold. Uh, got a lot of food in the bank, maybe should sell. He's going for more villagers right now, for TC still. And Ram's moving forward for Goku, Leather Archer Armor coming in. Nick doing elite skirmishes, another siege workshop. And he's got enough stone for a castle now, question is where to put it. Mm, because for now Goku is controlling all the map and Goku is uh, still producing villages as well. Nick of course with a lot of elite skirmishes now being produced, wants to save a little bit of gold and I think he sold something maybe. Mm, should be able to click up very soon now. Uh, let's see if he's doing the go back to work with the villagers, but I, I doubt it. Should garrison them now? Nice Manganel shot here. Castle is up, but he's only sending the villagers like this. That's not good. Don't know if expert don't know this or just don't need it, but I think it's helping a lot. Heavy Cavarcher for Goku. That's one very, very important upgrade. And Nick, of course, clicked up to Imperial Age now. Uh, still have a good amount of army. That's pretty much the same for both players, actually. No capped ram yet. Uh, Goku preferring to get Heavy Cavalcher first. Of course, that costs a lot of food as well. And I hope he's seen the yeah his back base going for stone over the village. They're gonna build a mining camp there, trying to get the archer ranges down. He's not gonna surpass the castle. 
sorry, without uh, cat or maybe sea trams, he's not on stone except for one villager, two villages now, and uh, Nick sh needs to get more army out and push out now because it's getting dangerously, uh, getting dangerous. Um, he's going to the point where he can't break out anymore. Goku is still more military and only 15 villagers behind. While Nick, did he stop villager production? Yeah, that's never good. He needs more villagers still because he's the one who is, who is booming. He needs uh, the 120, 130 wills and then pump out army like uh, there is no tomorrow. Goku now expected to in cap ram. Uh, the heavy cavalry is just fully upgraded. I think they're missing thumb ring. Not sure if ballistics is done. Uh, even a villager forward repairing the, the ram. That's interesting to see. And uh, for now, Nick can defend, but uh, Goku is getting more and more rams in, more and more heavy cap archers. And now Nick finally advancing to Imperial Age. Let's see what he's doing. Double trap coming out. I'm not sure why, uh, because there's no castle for Goku anywhere. And Bracer, of course, and another castle coming for Nick. That's expected. Um, elite skirmishes uh, is done, of course, but doesn't have enough resources to get heavy cavalry or anything. Uh, chemistry neither. Doesn't have too much food actually. And Goku is pushing and pushing forward. Uh, nice Manganel shot. Uh, somehow not perfect. Manganel going down. The Rams moving forward again. And a lot of uh, heavy cavalry streaming in from Goku, who is controlling this game for now. Double castle is gonna stop him a little bit. But Goku, of course, uh, 91 villagers starting to do light calf. He's gonna get more eco out. Actually, that's quite isolated eco points. This looks like a lot of nothing here but he's uh, taking mostly gold so there's a good amount of food in the bank let's see what he's doing next i think he should save up for sea tram that would be the important upgrade uh, to get and yet to get and then hussars later on 1k gold in the bank goku could do a lot more cav arches heavy cav arches in this case let's see what nick is doing chemistry coming up uh, probably captain very soon and um, hussar coming in for goku not sea tram preferring to do that first and looks like he's going with a few stables now yeah there we go stables coming up for him mm, 96 villages compared to 103 nick at this point has the chance to push and I think he needs to do that now. He needs to follow all these units with lead skirmishes. He needs to produce a lot more. Uh, Goku with 1k gold, but no food at all. Chain barring armor coming in. And let's see what Nick is doing. Parson tactics is seed. Yeah, there we go. Good job. But he needs to go heavy cover archers. Uh, otherwise, Parson tactics is just a waste. And let's see where he's putting the villagers. Maybe he wants to get a siege. Oh, he's walling. That's pretty defensive play here. I think that's the wrong decision. I think he needs to go out. He needs to push now. He needs to get rid of the cover archers. Uh, Nick Gus has, oh my God, Nick has more military units right now, and I think he is staying too passive. He should have moved out right now. Goku reinforcing his, or strengthening his eco right now, getting more villages out, a lot of farms coming up, and I think Nick is taking too long to engage here. Sea tram for Nick being researched first, that's huge. Uh, Goku, of course, missing the the food right now because he did hussars, and I think he's gonna add them. Yeah, there we go. Plus two defense is done. Uh, deciding battle maybe here. The Rams uh, on the front, elite skirmishers and cavalrys against heavy cavalrys and cap ram. Uh, Archer range coming up, but. Uh, for now, the heavy cavalrys are not attacked by any uh, elite skirmishers. Mm, sea trams against Catherine, no, this is going to end. Nick actually pushing out now. He might even not be too late. He might be able to get this. Nick with a lot of military units right now. Same amount of villagers and stables coming up for Nick now as well. But he needs the heavy cavalrys and he has the resources to click it. Do it. Click the heavy cavalry. That's very important. I think that was it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Heavy cavalry is being researched. Mm, also stay on the elite skirmishers. But Goku with the Hussars plus four now looking very good. A lot of resources in the bank. He's getting more cap trams. He should upgrade the siege ram now. That's what he needs. Scale barring, light cap, and heavy cavalry coming in for Nick simultaneously. Uh, castles up for Goku in a very nice position. Also another siege workshop. And where is the siege ram being? Yeah, behind the castle. That's good. Researching it in the in the correct siege workshop. Let's call it like this. Goku could get another castle, has still 1k8 gold available to himself, the gold here run out, actually he opened this, searching for more gold, and he's gonna get a siege workshop forward, very nice, but I think Nick even overchopped this, so Goku could just, could just run in, sorry for that, and Nick now with a good push, traps even out, hitting the castle, I'm not sure, uh, but Goku managing to defend, 78 military units for Nick, very very strong, he is now almost fully boomed, 107 villagers, 
Goku doing conscription, C-Tram is done, and now the big fights will begin. Um, right now, Nick looking good. And, but this is so unprotected, so open, this could be dangerous here. Uh, Nick for now, of course, is focusing on the front. Another Siege Workshop coming up for Goku. The Hussars against Siege Rams. Good job. Light Cave only for, for Nick right now because he had to invest a lot in Elite Skirmishes as well. Um, the castle still standing, although it's not being repaired. The trap is not hitting the castle, it's just hitting the trap. It's a mistake in my opinion. Nick is repairing, that's good. But Goku getting more and more C-Trams out and the push is slowly but surely being repelled. Uh, heavy Kavar just, just standing there, a very nice position. Not enough C-Trams for Nick who is quite low on gold. Goku still with 2k5 gold, looking good for him, getting C-Trams there. I think he should do a few, a few stables maybe on the, on the top side here. And, and then flood some Hussars in. He's got a little bit of food still in the bank so his eco should be fine. Hussar now for Nick, important upgrade but uh, not sure if he can afford it. He should actually go more Heavy Kavar. Elite skirmishes. Very low gold for Nick. Uh, his gold run out. He needs to go for this one, but only a few villagers there. And he cannot take any extra golds. Of course, Goku with five relics in the bank for so long. That's gonna give him a huge advantage. Iron casting coming in now. And Nick very, very low on resources. Almost has nothing, although he has got 108 villagers. Very low on gold, very low on food. While Goku resources looking really strong, uh, castle still not going down, not, neither are the traps really. And now the stable's coming up, one sea tram inside is going to be enough. And as this is open, I feel like the death of Nick, if he's losing this, will be on this wood line. Because without siege, he can't push. And uh, Goku definitely got more sea trams and more gold to create more sea trams. And the heavy Kamarcha fights only uh, being disturbed by the elite skirmishes here, but those are attacking the rams, of course, primarily. Primarily. Now a few Hussars from Nick coming in, but uh, Goku also sending Hussars now, killing the villagers probably. Yeah, and the siege rams uh, destroying the siege workshops here. Nick has to go back a little bit. Now a few siege rams for him, but uh, Hussars in play for Goku, who's doing Blast Furnace. And there the first Hussars are moving in, the first siege ram coming up. And we're gonna see a lot of raiding here, I think. Yep, yeah, Hussars being created, got the point right here. Mm, at the same time, Nick is being pushed back, Goku still with a score lead, more population for him. And um, similar amount of siege rams, the Hussars helping a lot. Uh, Goku fully boomed, now 127 population. Nick stopping to pr produce villager was one big mistake he did. That's not good for him. And running out of gold, of course, is a problem. I think he hasn't even seen this, because there's a lot of villagers going down. Nick on 106, let's keep that in mind. While we're watching the main fight here, still going on, two sea trams now for Nick against none from Goku. Goku has to go back a little bit, but he's sending sea trams as we speak. And of course Nick also sending the sea trams here, let's see, Goku stop production, maybe busy on the, on the side. Yeah, still being raided, now Nick has recognized this, but the wood line is so open. And in the middle, Goku looks to be the better, uh, the, the better military uh, count here. That's a lot of heavy cavalrys for Nick, just patrolling, not doing anything. That's something you can't really afford here. Fiasas in play, sea trams move towards the castle, but that won't go down. And a castle coming up here in the middle of the right hand side. Very nice, uh, controlling the biggest part of the map. More hussars coming in, and Nick now on three villagers, Goku on one in 34. Um, the trap finally going down, Nick has to go back because he has to defend and that means Goku can take all the buildings down now, can take his gold safely. I think he hasn't seen the gold here, no, missing that one right now, but it doesn't really matter because he's got so much gold available to himself. Now Nick is... Uh uh, killing the hussars that are coming in. I think he needs to wall here, maybe get a castle, but he only has 29. Oh, okay, he used a little bit of wall. I think he wanted to wall diagonally, but that one failed. Goku doing husbandry now, and um, while Nick is busy on the top side here, Goku is just getting rid of all the forward, and he's gonna move in very soon. Two castles are, uh, yeah, they're standing there, but sea trams, you know what's going to happen. Now the cavalry just from Goku moving in towards the top side here as well, the top right, and as he's unharassed for all game, has been unharassed for all game, Nick had a lot of trouble now doing uh, walls to reinforce in this position here, doesn't want Goku to get in. But the problem is the top side where the gold is. This is a very, very important area for Nick that he should have secured earlier. 
He took a lot of damage here, and Goku is still with a lot more resources. Yeah, look at this. Uh, 1k of everything at least, 2k 5 gold, and Nick very, very low on almost everything. When the heavy cav archers are going down, I think this game is going to be over. Goku should just move in like to here and fight the heavy cav archers. The sea tram is going to help him a lot here. I think that's what he's trying to do. Trap coming forward, still producing sea trams everywhere now, destroying uh, the walls, destroying the buildings, and at the same time, main fight happens on the former wood line. I think Nick will call GG any second now. I don't see any comeback chances for him because no gold, not enough eco with only 104 villagers and the heavy cav archers from Goku as well as the Hasa are just streaming in. The seed frames are everywhere now, gonna tear the buildings down. And uh, the last fight happening here, uh, Goku going, uh, Nick going back again, Goku following. Is Goku doing more heavy cav archers? He's housed. Uh, yeah, producing from almost every range, I guess, or maybe all, all of them. And the fight's still happening. Hassar is coming in, c trams still in play. And uh, Nick, only 32 military units, the c trams moving forward, trying to get the buildings down. A trap hitting the castle even. And uh, Nick one on two villages that's looking okay-ish, but resources still so low. I think he's lost the game, um, and I'm waiting for Goku to do the final push here. Goku's been very patient, no, uh, nothing too dangerous or too like crazy, but just playing standard, playing aggressive, which is very awesome here. And right now Nick is calling GG as the castle is falling. Very, very good game, very, very good last game for the series. Very nice hunts for Goku with a lot of aggressive play here but managing to get to Imperial Age earlier and then actually rebooming while he was keeping Nick busy it was very good uh, uh, um, very good um, like we call it um, achievement for him and uh, then Nick pushed out which was good but left a weak spot in his base Goku recognized this and uh, went for it and that's where the game turned again like up to this point where Nick was pushing, the game was quite even and then Goku took the advantage, of course he had more gold with the 5 relics, that was a big advantage as well. And yeah, therefore no chance for Nick in the end, losing everything and before the inevitable happens he calls GG. Very nice games, I hope you enjoyed those as much as I did and see ya in the next games, GG.